name is K. Felix, and I will come you to K. Felix Inspire. Always remember, if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Please do stay tuned for more details in this video. Joe Biden is president of a sovereign state, but he's not president of the globe. Joe Biden, unless he tells us that he sent his team to come and investigate activities in Zambia, he has no right whatsoever to make such a comment. We condemn that statement as strongly as we can. We actually wrote to the Chargé d'Affaires of America in Zambia to condemn that statement. Biden should realize that his democracy is not the best democracy in the world. As a matter of fact, Biden must be made to say thank you to Zambia for teaching them democracy. We are the ones who are teaching America democracy. Biden did not receive the instruments of power from his predecessor. His predecessor shunned the inauguration. All right? President Edgar Chagualungu, what did he do? He went and handed over instruments of authority. Tell me who the Democrats are. Americans? Far from it. If Americans can't accept the results of elections, and they call themselves a 200-year-old democracy. That's a mockery. And for him to point at us and say we are corrupt, that's totally uncalled for. Totally. Look at how, well, the kind of shambolic elections they had. Huh? And they call themselves a democracy? No. Joe Biden must be made to sit where he's supposed to sit. He must also ask himself, is his democracy perfect democracy? No. Look at what he's doing in Haiti. Yeah. Huh? And he calls himself uh, clean with what he's doing <coughs> to the citizens of Haiti. His own ambassador has resigned because of the atrocities he's committing on the people of Haiti. Joe Biden must be asked to concentrate on America and not to become uh, the police force of the world. When did he send people to come and invest that, investigate that uh, the PF government was corrupt? For us, we're reading in the press how he's uh, killing people in Haiti. He must apologize to mankind for that. He should actually be saying, thank you to Zambia. How many times have we changed government without any <coughs> incidences? How many? Much as President Edgar Lungu complained about the elections, not being free and fair, much as he complained about people being killed during the elections, he was magnanimous enough to go to the stadium to go and hand over the instruments of authority. At the risk of being jeered, and you saw how he was booed, he didn't walk down, he stood firm because he had a duty to the Zambians and had a duty to the development of democracy. Because of him, even future presidents will expect that their predecessors will do exactly what President Edgar Lungu did to go and hand over the instruments of authority. Look at Rupia Banda, what did he do? After losing elections, he didn't shun the inauguration, he went and handed over instruments of authority. Which democracy is there for? A democracy to respect, the American democracy or the Zambian democracy? My question this morning, Madam Speaker, directed to the acting leader of government business in the House. If it's in order, to keep quiet when our country is being embarrassed by other leaders in the country, in the, in the world. The President of the United States of America is just like any other president. He was elected by the people of America and they have got their own issues to sort out. And Zambia has got its own issues to sort out. Madam Speaker, if this is not interfering in our internal affairs of this country, I want the leader, the acting leader of business on government in this house to tell the nation if the United States of America president was in order to discuss the internal affairs of this country. 
I have not seen any calamity or loss of life that will be occasioned if that issue is not raised. If the Honorable Member for Kabushi wants to raise that question, I think that is a question that can be raised not as a matter of urgent public importance, but when there is time for question and answers for the government, either for the leader or for a government business or any minister to clarify.